think with this new show, um, Caesar Milan, better human, better God? Well, I think it's, it's a perfect time uh, for the show, perfect time for the message, perfect time for the world to see that my, my community, the group of people that I've been working for a long time, including my two kids, one is 25, the other one is 21, we're changing the world. You know, we, we want to give people natural, simple, profound guidance. We want to make sure that people utilize their home to, to get fed energy. The energy you have to carry every single day to achieve or to have a good day, calm, comfort, love, and joy, right? So people are going to have a more clear message, a more simple message, and something that anybody can practice all over the world. Because when you become a better human, your whole entire house benefits. It's just the dog is the one that tells you right away, my human feels different. My human behaves different. My human acts different. Right? So the reason why I'm focusing on the human is because I always say I train humans. But this time, people are going to see the importance of us taking full responsibility of how we feel, what we say, what we do, you know, and how we involve people. Because even though if you live in a family, but if you don't work together, you're not acting as a pack. And the dog senses that. That's why a dog often listens to one member of the family, not the whole pack. You know, so we're going to break it down in a way where we, everybody understand why we're having problems with dogs. And it's not because a dog has a problem, it's because we are not paying attention to natural, simple, profound way of being. Especially coming out of COVID. Everybody has an uncertain moment, unhappy and chaos. So how do you go back to normal? You see what I mean? So we have, we, have the, we have the formula, we have the show. My show is the only show that has education, entertainment, and enlightenment. Most shows is only entertainment. My show has education, entertainment, and enlightenment because my goal in life is to change the world. So many times people get afraid of dogs because you know, they get bitten. How, many, how often is it the person's fault as opposed to the dog's fault? Very simple. So if you walk into an area where crocodiles live, would you blame the crocodile? No, exactly. You won't blame the crocodile because you see him as an animal. Dog are animal. So there is no knowledge behind instinct, it's all reaction. A dog is not a human. You can't make him responsible of his action. You see it? Yes, he does live with humans. Yes, he does has the title of member's friend, but he's still someone who reacts on, on instincts. There is no knowledge behind instincts. You will never blame a crocodile, and you will never blame a, a snake if he bites. But why would you blame a dog? You see what I'm saying? Because people think the dog is human. But even humans don't take responsibility of their actions. You see it? So, so the point is, there is, is the education needs to be given. So, so at one point we realize, oh, so if I don't want my dog to react aggressive, this is what I do. If I don't want my dog to react fearful, this is what I do. If I don't want my dog to not listen to me, this is what I do. Because dogs are born to listen to their parents. They're not born to be aggressive to their parents, they're not born to be fearful to their parents, and they're not born to ignore their parents. They're born to follow, play, and explore with their parents. That's why we always say, Mother Nature is perfect. I need you in the photo. What's the difference between this show and any other show that you've done? Well, this show focuses on, like I say, uh, your home. We're gonna, we're gonna show you how to, how to get energy from your home, how to get energy from yourself, and how to bring it as a community. Right, so the world has learned cover your mouth, watch your hands, social distance. So that's an agreement that we have created to fight virus. Now, how do we make sure we all, the whole world, utilizing that we are now uniting by a virus, now how do we practice exercise, mental stimulation, and affection with a dog? See, the formula and the time that we are now makes you understand, yes, that's how we, that's how we fought virus. We, we all came together. You see what I mean? We all came together. How do you feel walking in and walk, seeing that? Uh, I miss it. I miss it. I miss it. You know, I, I've done shows every year, every year of my life. If I'm not doing a show in America, I'm doing a show in Asia, I'm doing a show in Europe. You know, because there's, there's dogs all over the world. And each culture have their own ways to listen. Right? So I'm Mexican. We listen things different. We comprehend things different. Our culture is different. Our colors are different. You see what I'm saying? So, so by me going to all over the world eh, eh, and then not being able to do it because of COVID, eh, I really miss it. I really miss it. This is what people love. You know, we're a pack. And last question. What's your favorite type of dog? No, just is the species dog is my favorite. Because I grew up in Mexico with mutts. I met the purebreds in America. But I fall in love with what everybody loves, which is the dog in them.